library friends, this is Miss Leanne from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be making a ladybug. So let's get into the video. Supplies you need for today's ladybug craft. You're going to need your ladybug craft kit, which you can get at the Huntley Library while supplies last until March 15th when we close for our construction renovations. You're going to need some glue. Either you can have some liquid glue or you can get some glue sticks. You're going to need a brown and green marker. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And then inside the ladybug kit, you're going to have picture instructions, which you can follow along to. Your leaf template. And then on your baggie, oops, you're going to have two googly eyes, a red circle, you're going to have a leaf cut out on a cardboard, and two pieces of black paper. So we're going to grab all of our materials onto the baggie, and then lay it out just to make sure. So you got the two strips of black paper and then your two googly eyes. So let's get started. So first we're going to take off our instructions. If you want to follow along with the instructions, you can or you can follow along with this video. <laughs> and then I'm going to first color the leaf so that we don't get any marker onto the table, right? So color the brown first. All right, and then grab your green marker. Now this is where I'm gonna go crazy because I'm gonna color outside of the lines and then you'll see when you cut your leaf, you won't even tell that it's outside of the lines. And you might need two different markers because for some reason the green was running out. I think it's the texture of that paper that we have, but no worries. You can also just let your marker rest or rotate it to the other side. If your marker does dry out and you don't have another green marker, you can just let it rest and wait a couple of seconds and you should be good. Now we're gonna cut out our leaf. And now you can't even tell that you're coloring outside of the lines. So now next thing you're gonna grab is that leaf cutout on that cardboard paper. And you do wanna make sure you glue your leaf to the white side. Because if you glue it to the brown side, you're gonna have part of the leaf sticking out. It's not gonna match up. So make sure you glue it to the white side. So you're gonna grab whichever glue that you have. I'm gonna use my liquid school glue because I find that easier than trying to use a glue stick. <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna line up the leaf as best as you can. 
If you have some coming off the edge, that's okay. And the leaf shouldn't match up to the white because it is bigger than the leaf template. So you're just gonna let that dry. If you wanna dab some of that glue onto your leaf, go right ahead. Your fingers might get a little green, but I'm using washable markers, so it'll come off really easy. So make sure if you're gonna put the glue on top, you use green, um, <laughs> washable marker. Now I'm just putting the glue on top just to make it a little shinier, kind of. Now you can skip the step if you want, if it's a little too messy, but I think it gives it a little realistic look to it. And it also kind of smears off some of that marker streaks. So it kind of like blends it in. But it's totally up to you. But if you do put the glue on top, you do have to make sure you give it some extra time to dry off. So now we're gonna put that to the side and let it, oh, I got green on my marker, and let it dry. Make sure you don't touch anything with that because it will get on whatever it touches. All right, so you're still gonna need your glue out. You can put away your scissor. Oh, actually you still need your scissors. So you're gonna grab the two black strips paper and your red paper. And we're gonna do this, the black strips of paper really quick so that we can let that glue set. So where it says glue, you're gonna put the glue on. <laughs> okay. And then what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna wrap it so you're gonna get this inside edge and line it up to that line that we have in the front. Now, this is gonna get oh, a little messy. So if you want to roll your paper beforehand, that might be easier so you don't have to mess around with it and the paper's already formed to that roll. And then don't worry about getting the back side all glued and messy because that's what we're going to be sticking down to our leaf. So you're going to hold that for a good couple seconds till that glue sets in. And it seems like about maybe, it depends on what glue you're using. If you're using the stick, it'll probably set faster. But if you're using the liquid, the liquid glue like me, you're gonna to wanna to hold it for a couple minutes. All right. And you see that glue residue on top of the black paper. You don't have to worry about it because you won't even see it. So you're gonna put that aside. Do the same thing with this. But this time, we're gonna be smart and roll the paper up kind of form it so that you don't have to mess. So it'll be easier to roll it onto the glue. Then you're gonna grab your glue again. And if you put too much glue on the first round, try and put a little less glue. And then roll it up again and hold it 
So if you can tell, rolling it first before you glue it helps a lot, it makes it a lot easier. your red circle and now you're gonna draw your ladybug polka dots so you can either use your brown marker or if you have a black marker you can grab that let me find my black marker first draw little polka dots all over and they don't have to be the same size and you don't have to count how many polka dots there are Fold this circle in half and grab our scissors and just cut it down that folded line. Or if you want, you can crease it really well. All you have to do is rip it. But I'm just going to cut it just to be safe. take our smaller roll, this one, and we're going to grab our googly eyes. Now these googly eyes, you're going to have to use the glue to stick on. Let's see. Some, some this, yeah. So you're going to grab your glue, put a small dot of glue on, Stick it right on your paper and just hold it. And if you want, you can do the same thing with the other one. Small dot of glue. And just clop it down and hold it. Now you can make this a silly ladybug. So you can have one big eye and one small eye if you have some googly eyes at home, or you can cut out your own googly eyes. Okay, dokie. Oh, we're gonna hold it for a little bit longer. If you want, you can blow on the glue to make it dry faster. dry because that needs a lot of time to dry because googly eyes are, are a lot trickier than just gluing paper together all right now what you're going to do is kind of flatten this big one so you're going to take that and just kind of like squish it not super hard 
just very lightly. You can even do it with one finger. Squish, 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 squish. <laughs> now, you are going to grab your leaf. Going to grab your leaf, and it should be somewhat dry. If it's still a little wet, just don't touch the leaf. And what you're gonna do is grab your black piece of paper and just put a line of glue on it. And then you're gonna stick your finger inside so you can press it down on the leaf. And you're gonna place the ladybug body wherever you want it. So I'm gonna place it right here. And you're just gonna hold it Hold it, hold it, hold it. And then you can kind of rearrange it. But I like it like that. Now you're gonna take these two half circles and they're gonna become the wings. So you're gonna kind of crisscross them over each other so that it looks like the wings are open. So Glue it on however you want to. Whichever way you want to. I'm gonna glue the wings on together first. I think that might be a little easier. And then I'm gonna glue the wings on to our body and you can place the wings wherever you want to you can sing a funk song a fun song if you want, you can glue it down a little more up here. So I'm gonna grab some more glue. And glue it on there. and let that sit for a couple of minutes or seconds. Depends on how fast your glue dries. Okay, so that looks good. Now you're gonna grab your eyes. You wanna try to squish them really lightly because you don't want the googly eyes to pop off. And again, you're gonna go to the bottom of the paper, put a line of glue, and stick it right onto where you want the head of the ladybug. And just press down. and that should stay. Now, if you wanna add antennas to the ladybug, you can grab your white piece of paper, fold it in half, grab your black marker, and just color out some black area. Make sure it's dry, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Right. 
then we're just going to cut out the antennas. So first, let's see, we'll cut out the antennas up here so that they stay together. We're just going to cut out a smaller shape of black. So whichever side has the least amount of black on it, you want to flip it to that side so you know that um, you're cutting inside of the area, black area. And you're just going to cut out whatever shape antennas that you want. And now you have two antennas that are the same on both sides. And then you're just gonna glue it straight on. And you're just gonna place the antennas wherever you would like. Maybe squish the two together. And that's it for today's craft. That's how you make a ladybug. Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more fun crafts and story times. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.